My name is Spencer Passman, and I'm from Red Deer, Alberta, which is super cool. When I was in high school, I started doing the high school musicals, which got me into acting and singing. And then I took um, my music diploma, majoring in voice, at Richard College. And now I sing in Cocapelli Youth Choir, which is a really great organization here in Edmonton. When you start as a young singer, a lot of your teachers will tell you to sing from your diaphragm, and they'll point to, like, right here. Um, your diaphragm is an involuntary muscle that moves up and down every time we breathe in and out. So you can actually use your diaphragm to sing. It's already there doing its job. What you need to do is make sure that, again, that you're relaxed and you breathe, you breathe um, nice and deep, and that you engage the muscles down here in the lower abdomen. You go. Yeah, there are two muscles that sit like this. And when you talk properly, they wave like this. And when you sing lower, they're looser, so they like make big waves. And when you're singing higher, like when men sing in their head voice or women sing in their like opera voice, like ah, then they're doing like little. Right from the get go, um, depending on your vocal cords and the way that your whole face is shaped, depends on what kind of sound you produce. So if you were to switch vo um, vocal cords with another person, you wouldn't be able to sing better because it's still your face and your box. But in order to make your range higher, you need to obviously sing in a higher range, but then you also need to work your lower range. Your range will expand from the middle out. You can't just get more higher range. Once you get a higher range, you also get more lower range. So you breathe in really deep. Ah. 